dead standing timber. So most, uh, some people say, you cut a bunch of trees down and uh, I'm cutting the right trees down. You know, I'm not cutting young walnut down. So other than this one right here, which is unfortunate. <coughs> so this log started to degrade on the canopy. It got hung up. So you see, all rotten away, really small. But the inside of the wood's good. Dead sanding tree. Um, here's an elm tree, burly. There's another burl right there. It's kind of cool. But dead sandy walnut. It's a nice walnut tree right here. It's like 16 inches wide. It doesn't need to be cut out, but I said that and right when I said it, I saw. I'll show you what's going on. In this section of the, uh, ooh. Not good. Yeah, we're cutting this one out. Not good at all. So you can see the bark's completely separated from that, you know, all the way down. You can pull it out. It's actually a dead sanding tree. Look at that. Dead standing walnut. But in there is that good stuff. A logger wouldn't cut that tree down and you know, try to sell it. That's the trash to him. These are actually the trees that need to be cut out. So that's what I'm doing. Just kind of a glimpse. So whenever I come into an area, so this tree that we cut off over here, you know, a lot of this stuff's gonna be cleaned up. We got designated piles for all the stuff. There's a pile over there. There's one pile over there. And I picked the pile strategically um, by bad trees. So uh, it's actually by a tree that is not in the best of shape. So this is, that actually is new. That branch coming down like that, that's really new. That wasn't like that. <coughs> Here's a walnut tree. It looks good. There's a metal in it, it's on the creek. Half its roots are exposed. There's a hole right there. Major portion is uh, degraded. Major portion's degraded. Um, it's degraded. The metal wasn't there. We get it out of there, but that's the situation with that tree. This is new. This wasn't here like a few days ago. This is what will happen. This limb, completely degraded on this walnut tree, which is, you know, not gonna be harvested because uh, it's dangerous for me to stand over there. Um, yeah, so beautiful tree, you know, has moss all over it. Unfortunately, it, the, the woods will reclaim it. So that's pretty much what I like to uh, do. Some decently new bob wire. So this kind of gives you an example of how far bad this tree is. As you can see, this main stem right here, all that stuff up there is dead. There's no new growth on it. There is good wood in the tree, but we won't be harvesting this tree. This tree is going to help keep the uh, soil from eroding. You know, if you take it out, you know, it'd degrade a lot more, but that root structure helps this situation. Eventually, this will, the creek will reclaim this. But our goal is, a big old bird flying through here. What is that? It's like a turkey vulture or something. Um, so I'll be planting more trees on this creek line. So just like that tree over there, the roots are exposed. And this is, these are the types of trees I like to harvest trees that need to be plucked out. The ants have moved in and there's just, you know, even that bark right there is just, you know, falling off. Terrible situation. So I would say there's 20 really nice healthy trees out here that don't need to be cut. 
I've actually done a little bit of work on them to uh, help them out. I'm actually out here today by myself. I'm not cutting any trees down. I used to do that, but I'm gonna do Ah, I need to get me a stick. A spider web in the face. All right. There's that bird over there. Ooh, there's another spider web. Right behind me. So look at this tree. Let's talk about it. This tree is in better condition than the tree over there along the creek even that one right there but that's where it's going that's pretty much what's happening with this tree <sighs> degraded limb dead decent healthy limb there's some pretty good growth on it it'll allow that stem log to you know grow a little bit more um there's a there's a couple there's three limbs up there that rotten a rotten limb so this would be a tree that will be plucked out within the next three years um, let me show you this one right over here put my hand in front of my face so I don't get smashed so it looks really small yes it is so a tree this small if it was really healthy it wouldn't have been cut out unfortunately that's not the status of that tree this tree was the top was completely blown out of it there was like two new um, this log is pretty good but as you can see the insects have already even moved into it so this tree wasn't going to make it the only way this tree would have made it if the top wouldn't have been blown out and uh, if you attended to it maybe three to five years ago that we maybe could have prevented it from being taken out. Beautiful tree, walnut tree. So I'll collect, collect its uh, walnuts this uh, this fall or whatever. So I got some cleanup to do. Um, many times I'm walking through the forest, I'm uh, I see turtles, and uh, if I was in big equipment. I wouldn't see them and I'd smash them. I've actually seen a couple of dead turtles on the job sites that I came in after they made their burn piles. So this is common. This is what those degraded limbs look like up top. There's holes in them. Ants did that. Uh, let me tell you about some trees. This isn't, uh, maybe Clayton's kind of better at that. So like there's a co-dominant tree, you know, where there's two main stems that are taking the growth. Some of those trees, I believe maybe all of them, they don't have this certain enzyme to heal themselves whenever a branch breaks off. It's a major issue. So a nice stem log right here. It's nice, it's a nice tree. Um, you know, beautiful tree. With us cutting out this one, which was the same way. Let me show you the degradedness on it. Here's one limb. You know, that fell off the tree. Um, so there was a bunch of just degraded wood on it. Here's another one. That's where we cut it out. So with this tree that was degraded and needing to be cut out, taking up, look at all the light it was taking up this tree won't be lasting long um, the tree behind that one doesn't look very healthy up there there's no I'm not talking about this one I'm talking about this one doesn't look like much green you know so uh, this tree was a significant tree but there was a bunch of dead limbs on it and it was taking up you know canopy space so now maybe it will allow this one to grow a little bit more so on this particular tree, you know, I like what I see um, as far as up top. I see three branches, you know, this little branch on here, this branch, and that branch. Those need to be cut off and sealed. And uh, that tree probably should be treated. This is a nice walnut tree, small. 
as I said, you know, these vines will do damage to trees too. So, uh, you know, I try to pull vines off certain walnut trees. Look at that, small walnut tree, dead standing. It, it's competing with this beautiful tree here. You know, it's really healthy, the one behind it. So it's a healthy tree and it doesn't need to be cut out. 10 to 20 years maybe, depending upon you know what happens during that time. If that top it gets blown out in the next ice storm. And then in a year, you know, you start seeing loss of canopy, you know, cut it out. But this walnut tree, small tree, shouldn't have been you know, like that. Um, dead standing. So it's unfortunate. Uh, this tree seemed like it found a way to go up. It there is some canopy up there. Not this one, but this one. And, uh, you know, it looks decent, but then you look at the base. It's an eight inch log. This bark, there's a, there's a crack in it. So, I don't know. Let's look at a couple more. So, nice tree. You see at one point in time, dropped a limb. It has that enzyme. It's not a codominant tree. It sealed itself up. That's what we want in a tree. Exactly what we want. Nice canopy growth, nice canopy growth. There were some dead limbs. So if this was my property and this dead limb right ahead of us, you know, it needs to be cut off a certain proper cut and it needs to be sealed and all this, it needs to be, you need to groom your trees. You see this vine? I think there might be an elm tree. There might, yeah. It's an elm tree in front of us. Small walnut, dead standing, top gun blown off in the ice storm. Not gonna make it. Can't do anything with it. Maybe a walking stick. It's a pretty nice walnut tree right there. So, <clears throat> I wanted to ramble today, and you know, I'm doing some cleanup, so there's a lot of branches, you know, they'll go into the piles. I still need to clean up this mess. Um, I'll show you that tree here in a second. So this, all this stuff, there'll be a lot of clear areas. I'll come in here, plant a bunch of seedlings and saplings. Um, so I'll put the seeds in the ground and I'll also put some saplings. So yeah, and that's gonna be happening this fall. So all this area will be cleaned up. But that's kind of a, a, a glimpse at you know, how I log forests. Low impact, minimal land, in, minimal land impact and uh, minimal ecosystems destroyed you know uh, sometimes when people come in with your skid stirs and just come through right here and just you know just push all that stuff off and just you know pile it up you know it sometimes uh it, it sometimes can kill a turtle or two and i'm not trying to do that sounds kind of silly but that's what i'm about uh low impact logging selective harvest another prime example of why i cut that tree down that shouldn't be happening so ideally, like that really small tree over there, I told you, you know, the stump was like this. You mean, look, you could kind of peel this off right here. Ideally, it's just like that, and it's just brown. They haven't got to the inside. You want to get them before they get to the inside of the wood. So those ants, they eat board feet every day. And if you want to, trees are meant to be cut, there's a certain time to cut a tree. If I came in here and cut every single walnut tree down, like this beautiful tree in front of me, this other beautiful tree, this other one right here, and just took them all out, it would change the moisture content in the soil. Um, so you're not really wanting to do that. There's certain ground cover that's beneficent, beneficent, uh, beneficent, <laughs> beneficent, goodness gracious, to, uh, that's, it's a benefit. Okay, let's just do that to the actual you know forest and uh you know decomposing logs and stuff you know this is just matter that's been decomposing i'm sure this creek's rise before you can see it a walnut people are like well the walnuts would just plant themselves well unfortunately you know walnuts degrade when they're on top of the ground you know this is hollow i can squeeze it so that's not the case so some loggers i have a, I have a lot of competition and they uh they cut all the trees down. So they'll, they'll cut these types of trees down right here. And I'm talking about stem log. So this is canopy of, uh, you know, degraded tree. So um, they'll cut 
you know, a bunch of young trees down and uh, they'll just leave. They don't, they don't plant trees. Um, majority of the time, if you're cutting a tree down and it clips, let's say an oak tree, which you know, there's one little branch up there, we'll take care of that. We're not gonna leave a dangling branch that we caused. And another tree, which is kind of a liability, we like to fall trees properly. I also see uh, people talking about splitting trees. You know, they're scared the tree's gonna split when they fall it. I will say some of those people are not, they, they're not cutting trees down properly. Um, so, you know, you don't, you wanna sever that wood before it moves and moves anything. And uh, it's really key to keep the integrity of the wood, no uh, wind shake, fiber tear, or um, splitting of the log. It can cause micro uh, like fiber cracks throughout the log if you fall a tree pro improperly. And then when you slice it into wood, you know, the boards are just gonna pop apart. So doing things right is really important. I've been cutting trees for like eight years, had a wood miser for four, almost four-ish, something like that. And uh, yeah, almost four years. Walnut tree, co-dominant, I believe, uh, if I'm incorrect, you know, kind of correct me, but sometimes co-dominant co trees don't have enzymes to uh, help heal branches that die off. You know, like a tree like that shouldn't have a significant, there's a branch right there that's significantly, you know, degraded, you know, although there's some decent growth up there, but, you know, past, there's a Y up there past that that's rotten. Right there, there's rottenness. That tree won't, that tree won't be 20 inches um, in 20 years. It'll be on the ground. It'll be a dead standing twig. So... I've seen uh, tracks of walnut that were planted 30 years ago. They're not as big as you would think they'd be. Uh, the future of our forest with lots of forest fires and uh, a thousand plus walnut trees taken out every every month. That's an understatement. You know, I don't see many people replanting trees. So this is a canvas and to properly manage this forest you know we cut out the selective trees like i kind of explained in this video that tree won't make it it's dead um it just kind of needs to be cut down and you know firewood so there's multiple campfires that we have out here when we do these projects we come out camp out we sleep in tents and stuff and um you know, we cut trees and kind of do that. Sometimes we'll have to climb the tree to do that. Uh, but yeah, three years or so, that tree probably needs to be plucked out. We'll, we'll monitor it. There's still a lot of good, you know, good wood in there. But it is on the verge of, you know, those limbs that aren't taken care of. You know, eventually them insects get their way down. If it starts, if it's what goes up must come down and if you see upper canopy logs degrade it severely you know it's not a good situation dead standing walnut really small walnut not gonna not gonna grow or have a chance because of uh you know it competing with all these other trees that haven't been managed ever this property was logged 50 years ago and uh they pretty much cut all the walnut trees out and that's that. So I showed you a burl earlier. You know, it's like beautiful. Up there. You see a spider web? There's a spider web in there. Right there. So it looks like these, uh, this tree is nice. On the other side. You know, depending on how you look at it. I, don't, I guess you don't want to focus up. But you know, it's like, oh, that's cool, burly, and you walk around. Just making its web. Spider in there. Appreciate the support. Wanted to 
start educating people about, you know, properly cutting out trees from the forest. You know, a lot of people get sawmills lately and they just, you know, obviously walnuts, the, one of my, my favorite tree, and uh, they just, just get all the walnut trees down. So you do want to leave some walnut trees for the future. Well, you just cut this one now. Did you see the canopy? Nope. All right then. Some walnut tree, decent growth on it. it won't, uh, that tree right there, it won't be 30 inches wide. That tree will be taken out before then. So. This stem is degraded. Stems degraded. There's a another. There's no leaves on some of that. Dead, dead limb, dead limb, dead limb. So that's not going to. They're not just to magically heal and start growing branches. So I got my work cut out for me. Wanted to make a glimpse, a uh, quick video. This pile will all be cleaned up. There'll be a bunch of areas throughout here. There'll be sunlight patches, and uh, those are the places that we'll be planting new trees. You want me to come onto your property? I do that. Give me a call, reach out. Oh, I guess let me show you this. So sometimes the walnut tree won't show signs of uh, deterioration, and majority of, majority of the time it will. Look. I'm pointing out up in the canopy like this. That limb yeah, is on the canopy. So I didn't make this cut. Yeah, I make that cut. I don't, I don't know why I have to do that. I can still salvage a log and you got the crotch still right there. It'd be the top cut. But I you know I would never make a cut like that. If there's any cuts done on this, it should have been close to the crotch. That, we failed <laughs> at that task. Um, yeah, I'll show you this. So, look at the structure of this root that you couldn't see above ground. You know, so, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it root rot. And then, if let's say, if this was exposed, and you would be able to see that, and then obviously it's a dead sanding tree, but sometimes they won't be dead sanding. This will be decent, and that could be potentially happening because of certain situation. Well, this tree's a liability to climb. Whenever we fell this tree, which I showed you all the you know, dead canopy limbs, you know, the dead can canopy limb that needs to be cleaned up, and we'll chop this up, and uh, look, all dead. That came from that one, but I'll Anyways, so yeah, all that will be cleaned up and put in that pile. Degraded. All right, I think that's gonna wrap up the video. I have to uh, do some cleanup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll be out here for a little while. Be out here actually all week. I'm not staying out here tonight, but so that's what it looks like. And we've had a dead sand tree down. So the sapwood is, you know, trash. You want know, to look for holes in this heartwood, see what's going on there. Obviously, there's not there. But sometimes there's bugs on the outside of that piece of wood. We cut that off. This. This is actually that tree on the creek. I told you the top was going out on it. Well, with that degraded port part on that log, which you see the tree, you know, that's just degrading the entire situation. That's a hollow cavity, water, weather, bugs. You can get that. So that tree should have been cut out like five years ago. And I don't even know if that would have that helped it. Um, some cookies, we use it to back up. Uh, this is a significant incline, and this is where I want my sawdust to be parked. I'm going to clean this up, little area, sawdust pile. So this is where one of the loading arms sits because it hits the ground before the other one can go down. Got to dig a hole for the 
you know, front jack to go in because you need it to be a lot higher and you need that positioning to be in the ground. And the back is off the ground too much, so you need a block to set it up. Here's one of those trees. Degraded walnut. So this is kind of our, uh, that's gonna come out here. I'm gonna bring a weed whacker. So there's some firewood, you know, little sticks, any like our pathways in. Anytime before we bring a truck in, we're gonna walk that pathway and move all sticks and debris, make sure there's no turtles, nothing that, you know, we're gonna hurt or whatever. And then, you know, if we randomly see a small sapling, you know, which is very identifiable to me, you know, I'm gonna literally, it's gonna be, if it'd be small, I would uh, dig it up and, you know, kind of put it somewhere else. In uh, same type of environment, you wouldn't want to just dig up a sapling and put it out in the middle of nowhere with a different moisture content. That's not that's not what we do. Look at this tree, walnut, decent growth. You know that needs to be popped out. It's not a good sign. Like I said, this tree won't be 30 inches. This tree is on the end of its life life uh, span. If you don't believe me, then just don't believe me, but that's just, that's that. Nice growth. You know, um, yeah, so, what I would do, if this was my property, I would clip those two, trim them, leave them uh, branches off, seal them, but eventually, them branches are going to fall and it's gonna peel the tree. And then, you know, it's for sure going to kill it. So that's like a preventative measure. But you look up, there's some nice growth. So if that nice growth just continued to occur, and let's say this just got 10 years bigger, and one day there was too much ice on this limb because the leaves hadn't fallen off yet, and we had an early ice storm or something, this limb falls down, peels the stem, and definitely determines the fate of the, uh, the tree. Or you can come in, cut this off, seal it, and you know alleviate some of those situations. There is one more limb. There's one limb right there that needs to be cut and sealed, and I, this tree needs to be treated. There's a couple limbs up there, but I like what I see up there. So that's the situation. That's kind of me uh, explaining Chuck's here. So this is our campout area. We didn't act, we actually camped out up here. But, you know, there's a bunch of just random sticks and stuff, you know, throw those in a pile whenever you get around to it or they'll be burnt. And, you know, a fire pit, you know, uh, sometimes I'll throw a little bit of that fire pit, you know, on top of the uh, walnut trees that I plant. So, it's a walnut tree, terrible situation, degraded. There's some decent growth up there, you know, but you start talking about its root structure. That is going to, um, it just needs to be filled up. So like if I was in this particular area, you know, say a 20, 20 yard area, any decomposing matter I'd put in here, that decomposing matter will act like a filter. So whenever it does rain, all the smaller sediments will build up and eventually we can build this area up. We need to build this area up so we don't continue to compromise these root structures. So anytime I pick my debris piles, if I am in this, you know, particular situation, you don't want to choke trees out either. But that, that tree's been fantastic, you know? So it, you know, has a nice stem, but I'm sure it wouldn't mind some more soil right there. Walnut tree, there's a hole all the way through the middle of it. You know, you see these branches that aren't sealed, they decompose and uh, that will determine the fate of a tree. One branch that can change the trajectory of a tree's life. Dead sandy walnut. It's just over there, it toppled by itself. And now it's decomposing, providing nutrients to this area. So look at this tree I was telling you about, that tree that I said we need to we need to build this up. This this needs to be have there needs to be certain size branches to be put in here, you know, in certain uh, order, and this needs to be built up because th that just doesn't need to be there. We need, we need to build that area up. About to walk into the, so I could do this all day. 
there's a, a black spot on that walnut tree that's not a good sign and then you go up the first so many branches are dead like all them small branches bam 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 and then you start going up yeah there's some decent growth but that there's a i just hit the spider that limb right there has broken off and there is starting to cause some issues in this tree that tree won't reach 24 24 inches wide but you see you know big monsters like that beautiful tree i don't think it needs to be cut if i did my, my uh, tree inspection like i do before i cut every tree and uh then it has to hit certain criteria and if it does it's cut out if it's um multiple things that decide if we're gonna cut the tree down beautiful property out here you know this walnut tree look at all these dead branches dead these are this you know the limbs i was telling you i want to cut off you know, cut those off you know this is this isn't just gonna get better you know, look. that's not gonna get better that's soft wood right there so you cut that eliminate that that's what, that's what i do so my name's Zach. You can reach me at 405-562-0707. Come on your property and uh, this is what I do. And this is all I do. Worked for myself for 13 years. Here's a pile. Degraded walnut. So since we're throwing degraded walnut in our piles, this will these bugs will help break this down. Hopefully we can uh Attract some of the other bugs there and some of these trees out here to, you know, focus on this pile so uh, they, they don't, you know, continue to eat away walnut. So right in front of us, walnut tree. But there's a branch right there. It's hollow. Guarantee you um, it's degraded wood in there. We got some nice canopy. There's a couple limbs. We do it all day. So lots of work to be done. 32-minute video. God bless you guys. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching my 32-minute video. Ha, ha, ha.